Hello, it's Super B Shirley with BBS Bees, and it is Wednesday, August 25th, 2021. And it's about 2 p.m. in the afternoon, Central Time. We're in Wisconsin, USA, Zone 4. We think the hive swarmed again uh, overnight. You'll see. There's a swarm about 30 feet from the ground with the swarm trap underneath it. I was monitoring it via Zoom. Couldn't tell in the Zoom when it left but it went by my dad as it left the property. So I am two days after the swarm moved on from the tippy tops of the trees. So I'm gonna go in and see what's going on with all three hives. It's been about three weeks since I've been in there and they should not have run out of room. So hopefully the swarm that I saw or that I zoomed in to see uh, was just a swarm from the woods. All right, so come along with me and we'll take a look inside the hives. The trials of getting a bee suit on. I've got a full suit with the hat like that. So I try to get the little white band around my head. And I've got a piece of elastic around my head to keep my hair back. And if you hear any sawing, we do have construction going on site. So I'll try to be mindful of that and Stop talking when they are sawing. Oops. And how many how many zippers can you have on an outfit, right? The answer is four. So one going up the neck, the one coming around the veil, and I've got one in each boot. And then that tucks down. So technically, there are five zipper pulls and four zippers. Got my gloves. I've got my supple gloves on this time. Not my dad's gloves. But I think I didn't use these. Yeah, got a, got a hole right there. Shh, don't tell the bees. I meant to duct tape that up. You know what? Here, I got some duct tape on my... There we go. Look at that from last year from beekeeping class. That works. Sweet. Give my smoker a couple of puffs. See the tree canopy? That's actually going out into the yard though. So I'll give you a little bit of tree canopy, canopy when I get over there. So I have three empty frames to disperse if needed, and then I can just cut some comb off of any frames that I need to take out. Here's a good look at that fallen limb or two, just kind of hanging on there. This is the tree canopy directly above the beehives. This is what they'd see if they looked directly up. This is the one that had the crazy comb and then I tried to attach it to the frame and then it fell down. So I kind of think what I want to do is just replace those two frames. And I'm going to lift these two out at once. Mm. If I can, they're really propolized.
Okay, yeah. We're taking this on out. honey there. Get that one out. I can actually probably put that one back in. I need to get out this crazy comb. Here it is. This is what fell down last time. We're going to get rid of that. done anything on that yet so let's go take it there so that was easy enough now They do have some additional crazy comb. Oh, it's stuck to the frame. Let's see if I can show everybody. It's shaded over here. So maybe like that. You can see it sticking out. We don't want that. Since I will most likely be harvesting these end ones, I am happy that I got that piece of crazy comb off of there. I'm just going to stick this one back in there. And that is actually the orientation that it went in. Hey there, girls. Why are you fanning? put this one back in so I don't believe this hive swarmed because they're doing a good job filling up these last two and the, the third to the end was completely full of honey so like I said I will harvest all of these so I'm not too concerned about the craziness now that I've got that little piece off okay now I gotta get the girls done that are fanning. Should we go? See, it's just, I don't know why they're fanning. Some of their other girls are out. And I can't see when I'm filming, so oh, I can see if I put, put my knobby head the other way. There. Okay, so we're going to close this one up. I'll try to get them to go down. push this one back. Okay, and the other two. 